Welcome back to Splinter Cell Blacklist. Welcome back to Splinter, <laughs> Splinter Cell Backlist. Welcome. <laughs> oh, fuck. oh, that's that's staying in the video. That's yeah. Oh. No, I'm not stopping it. Oh, fuck. Oh, welcome black. Um. <laughs> Splinter oh, Cell Blacklist. Don't stop. Blast okay, blime. <laughs> we. <laughs> we defended up. Ain. We defended. Ain and we boarded an oat. Uh, Banner. <laughs> Banner yit. I was just trying to boost up. Welcome to Mexico. Uh, it wasn't. When we were what? I don't know what I just said. We're in Texas. The woman said Mexico. <laughs> The woman said Mexico on the screen, and I just didn't know. My brain said Mexico, and I said Mexico. <laughs> Welcome back to Splinter Cell Blacklist. Wow. The American fuel attack yeah. was successful. Welcome back to the game we're playing. Yeah, last time we hijacked a boat, Sorry, shot a plane, so something, I don't know. Last time, this time Splinter Cell Blacklist. Looks like Louisiana, this time, Sabine Pass. we're uh, defending a natural gas reserve or something like that. Yeah. Oh my god, Sabine Oh my god, indeed. This That's seems pretty fucking terrifying. Gulf Coast. The engineers biggest the fuel facility on the Gulf right Coast. That's why it's important. Uh, 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 it refines uh, fuel. <laughs> it would be important <laughs> anyway. It's fucking oh, it's a giant natural gas. It's a giant explosion. Yeah, I honestly don't know how it's already not ex one one. Oh, fucking hell yeah, burped during recording. I don't know but how it hasn't exploded <laughs> entirely already. Uh, you know. No, I don't. <laughs> Approaching jump rope, well, Sam. Don't no. worry about it. Ready? I, I want to worry about it, because in the real ah. world, this would be terrifying. A natural gas tanker set on fire? And then rammed into a fuel facility, yeah. Grim, Sam's away. Holy shit. Copy. Here we yeah, go. we just jumped out of a plane. Do we have a parachute? Yeah. Okay, good. No, we had a bungee cord on. <laughs> That's what I saw, and I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> I was like, do we have a... Any... No, okay, we do have a parachute. On the ground, headed towards I believe down. the rope was to control where we fell. Fair. I think it'd be really funny if just the one in a million chance happened where the parachute just didn't come out. <laughs> yeah, just the fails die. the mission instantaneously. Yeah, I think it'd be I, that'd be a great way to end a video yeah. game. Just someone your the final mission, or you think it's the final mission, is that <laughs> you just fucking drop in and you face plant. That's the game. <laughs> you said we needed help. That walk animation. <laughs> yeah, was really, I just had to, that's why I stayed quiet. I should have stayed for it. They task you to secure the facility. They sent us to stop uh. the fuel tanker, but they sent us too late. Anyway, what are these people? The crash, Navy SEALs. They're shooting, seals. We almost they're got shooting at Blacklist. And went to yeah, shit. they're shooting yeah. at Blacklist in a combination with Boron, I believe. No, if I was Blacklist, I simply would have exploded it. <laughs> and then you would have just become a terrorist? And left? Uh, Damn. I'm just saying I'd be a really good terrorist. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, it's been a while since we've done this bit. Hey, I don't want to kill people. Hey. Uh, I'm Wait, bit. Inferring that you do want to kill people. <laughs> I mean, I mean, fuck. Shit. Okay, he just doesn't notice the bullet <laughs> hit his helmet. Like, oh, it must have been the wind. Oh, that was blind. Oh, that's the Navy SEAL. I almost domed him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> shot his head off. Uh, <laughs> he fucking dropped in here on a parachute. Held your hands up, said, friendly, friendly. And then in the midst of a firefight, <laughs> pulled out a sniper rifle. <laughs> Yeah. I'm blasting the baby space tail. Now, not only do we get to help Navy SEALs in this mission, we get to help firefighters. We're helping all the first responders. Hell yeah. Grim, find me such a good engineer. person. <laughs> After we just snap some guy's I, neck. I think the blacklists stay here because they want to stop it from being saved. Well, yeah. But so they, like, execute firefighters, so I'm not kidding. <laughs> uh, 
fucking guillotine their ass. No gun. Well, obviously it was a fucking joke, James. <laughs> James, you're, you're ruining me. How could you? <laughs> How'd that miss, by the way? And how did he not know where it came from? about it. Bang. If I was blacklist, I'd literally, I literally they have a bomb, right? Like, why not just literally blow up the gas tanker? Oh, and die. Oh yeah, you're super dead. <laughs> <laughs> I'm impressed that he managed to hold on while I was getting shot. <laughs> I'm a very strong Splinter Cell. Yeah, not bad. Splinter Cell. This is no ordinary man. This is not a man in general. Dang. I'm gonna go behind a wall. Oh, yep, yeah, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that was that was really good, dude. Uh, yeah, don't worry about it. Oh, that was really good. You were really I making this little look great. Where I play in video game tournaments. Uh, <sighs> really? Yeah, I did I've never heard for about a while. That. Uh, what game? What game? It was a like really shitty like free to play shooter, but. It was like legit because it was made by the army, and that's the only reason it had any traction. Wait, the army made a free to play shooter? Yes. It's called that's America's sick. Army Proving Grounds. Huh. Yeah. Was it uh, any good? <laughs> kinda. It just didn't maintain the servers for it, so it just became awful, and nobody plays it anymore because of that. Huh. It's essentially unplayable, even with like gigabit internet. So you're telling me that the U.S. Army made tournaments for their new hit video game? Well, no, the U.S. <laughs> Army didn't host the tournaments. It was more uh, another like offsite that would host oh, okay. the tournaments. Uh, uh, but besides that, I've also played in Call of Duty tournaments. Was more mainstream. Online or uh, like in a tournament building? Uh, online because COVID. Oh. Oh, during the pandemic, okay. Yeah, it was Yeah, during... I'm the exact opposite. Uh, I, uh, for those of you who don't know, I think I've talked about this before, but I am a... I'd like to consider myself a professional Smash Brothers player. Uh, cause I did- I do top 8 every event I go to, but... Yeah. Point is, I'm a competitive Smash Brothers player, and... Um... Uh, uh, I haven't had the ability to do a tournament since... Oh god, like 20... It's either 2019 or 20... Yeah, because the, the pandemic started in like March of February 20, uh, 2020, right? Yeah, it started uh, very early in the US, at least. Yeah, so I haven't had the chance to do a tournament since 2019. Uh, so, that makes me really sad, because tournaments are super fun. Like, if uh, you have friends that play the game, and you all go together, it's just a good time. Um, uh, my worst memory of tournaments, though, is that actually the uh, last tournament I went to was the uh, biggest tournament that we, or like, not the biggest tournament, but like, the most important one because the, uh, the grand prize was just Nintendo Switch. Um, and I got second place. So that hurt really badly. <laughs> On the bright side, like, my morale wasn't completely crushed because I did lose to a college student who had been playing competitive Smash for years, and that was, and Smash Ultimate was my first competitive Smash game Brothers. in general. Yeah. So I was, like, pretty proud of my results. Yeah, uh, still good. <laughs> yeah funnily, uh, uh, I knew I was gonna lose the uh, set, so... Uh, I just decided to, um, we, we basically made a deal that we would do a sans ditto as our, uh, as the grand finals, <laughs> which is just better. phenomenal. Uh, <laughs> sans is a final in a tournament. Look at that, me Gunner with a sans costume, it's fucking great. You know, I took a game off him. Of, How's he doing? I, uh, we was not able to win, though. Finding an exit for you now. Yeah, unfortunate. I mean, wait. Yeah. If you can find me a terminal, I can nuke the virus. If only you were a Sans main. Yeah, he was actually a Sans main, so that was Top the character he played, Matt, uh, match one in the set. 
Oh. That was the game I won because I was playing Look. Lucina, who was top tier. Yeah, you were you were playing match. versus Sans, like one of the best characters in the game. Uh, yeah, you can think that. <laughs> Funny. Um, oh, I thought you said Sans is the best, is one of the no, best. No, no. And then you said Describing as Lucina. one of the best. Yeah. yeah. Uh, interestingly, uh, this is actually another one of my prouder tournament moments. Is adaptation in the middle of a set was that I learned that Sans's main neutral tool, I'm just, I'm, it's not me gunner, it's Sans, let's face it. Um, it never has been me gunner. <laughs> Sans's uh, main neutral tool is neutral B, which is like, or hit that setup, because me gunner obviously has like three different special moves you can choose for each one special. Uh, he had the one where he like charges up a grenade and shoots it, and has like a multi-hit property that's really hard to shield against. Uh, because it locks you in shield stun so you can free grab. But uh, the counterplay I learned with Lucina specifically is that Lucina's dash attack, she like runs, sprints forward, and then she like crouches and does a sweep with her sword. Yeah. And that crouch actually shifts her hurt box so that she can go underneath the neutral B, because it's like a low arc the neutral B goes on. So. Basically, I learned that whenever he was charging up neutral B, uh, I just kind of dash attacked him and put him in an edge guard scenario. And like 60% of the time I got him there, he died from edge guard. So, yeah, that was a, my uh, main bit of tournament adaptation. Pretty proud of that moment. But, <laughs> that's enough about me. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever done that Stay before? No. <laughs> what were you it's doing? Were you just moving it's the mouse up and down? No, cut. It's just because, look, he does that to turn his night vision on, so. Oh! <laughs> It since you're <laughs> animation locked, but you can still turn on your night vision, it just becomes the perfect loop. Oh, holy shit! That's the best thing I've seen all day. I was- I wasn't ready for that, if I'm being honest. <laughs> <laughs> it literally looked like he was at a rave. <laughs> I've been leaving me. I can't. It's too good. <clears throat> I almost died from that, you know, I fucking coughed up blood during that laughing. Oh. <laughs> Somebody thought I was just not, <laughs> in that sentence, thought I was being truthful. It's like, oh my god, he coughed up blood at laughing at a <laughs> Sam Fisher playing on disco mode. He got an ambush. Uh, neither could he. He was getting blinded by the night vision, Bob. Flitter cell, everybody. Yeah. Oh, wait, if that's a shortcut scene, going to drink water in between it anyway. <laughs> oh, I've been left to commentate alone for like two seconds. Uh, I forgot he threw the radio at him. <laughs> I must spit out my water. <laughs> oh, scary. Bang. Shoot his leg or something, I don't know. <laughs> no, it's, if we do that, I think he dies, or he just doesn't have a hitbox. Let's be gonna test it, don't do that. <laughs> no, don't shoot him, what the fuck? No, oh, he doesn't, look, have, he doesn't have a hitbox, yeah. Huh. Alright, I thought you were just gonna fucking- I thought it would be like a mission failed, we'll get him next time moment. No, but he just doesn't have a hitbox, so. He just straight up phases through existence. That was the quantum tunneling shit we were talking about earlier. He just quantum tunnels the bullets and he doesn't hit him. Ugh. Charlie, I need you to got it. Good yeah, this is Charlie's redeem mission essentially, since he fucked up so badly in the last mission and almost crashed the plane. Charlie's not doing jack shit. Yeah, nobody uh, turned on the water. Thing. Oh, to okay. very fire. Cool. He's got control of the facility. Oh. Huh. There we go. Redeemed myself a headshot. 
Uh, something that I'll never be able to redeem myself for. Some guy, or uh, like some woman, right? Uh, or, uh, called our house the other day. Oh. And just the amount of scam callers we get, right? Like, your car insurance warranty is a uh, public fire. And, uh, fun fact, I don't have a car. So, <laughs> whenever I hear that, she's like, uh huh, bye bye. Uh, hang up. And it was, so I, uh, when that person called, uh, I thought it was like one of those car warranty bots, so I, so I wanted to fuck with the robot. Yeah. So I said, wrong number, what do you want? In like this really fucking like mean like tone. And this sweet old Mexican lady said, um, who is this? And before thinking, like before I thought about anything, the, I just said no. And hung up on her. And... <laughs> It's just this sweet <laughs> Mexican lady. She was just probably got the wrong number. Yeah, it's uh, literally I just said uh, like before she said anything, I was like, wrong number, what do you want? And then this sweet like Mexican lady said, um, who is this? And I said no. And then hung up. <laughs> Cause my brain didn't have time <laughs> to calculate. To process, yeah, to oh. to process that this was in fact not a spam caller. And then I just slammed the phone against the wall and then Two, about two seconds after I did that, I was like, oh. Still trying. Oh, oh shit. shit. Oh, okay. oh, that's not good. And I don't know whether or not to think that that's really fucking funny or really evil. It's nothing big. We'll catch you up later. Oh, that's awful. Virus. Mexico, hey, leave a like if you think it's funny and leave a like if you think it's evil. I mean, why would you even want me I never did. Thanks. Oh, actually, I actually got a, I got a better version. Uh, leave a like if it's funny, or subscribe if it's evil. Yeah, do that. Oh, his Share eyes the video if it's neutral. Yeah, if you if you think I'm just an asshole, uh, and <laughs> this is neither funny or evil, it's just me. Uh, evil. Share, share the video on uh, Twitter, Facebook, uh, Grinder. <laughs> Uh. <laughs> uh, how long have we been uh, going for? It's 17 minutes, but uh, mm. to get the little thing cutscene, we're gonna have to start the final mission. I like believe. The, uh, the, mis the cutscene for the end of this mission, or the cutscene to begin the next Unless... one? Unless. There's the mission in the middle of the Atlantic. No, okay. So yeah, this is. Final mission, Site F. Oh, well, Yeah. then I guess that'll be next episode. It will be. All right, well, thank you for watching. Thank you for watching uh, Splinter Cell hey, Blacklist. And hey, if you're that sweet Mexican lady We're that sorry. was uh, calling me the other day, I'm really sorry. Uh, <laughs> Imagine that's our, like, only viewer. Yeah, it's just huh? this old lady in her basement just fucking yeah. watching two kids. Nope, that's the end of that sentence. Old lady in the basement watching two kids. Have a good day, folks. Yep, see ya bye -bye. next time. <laughs>